Hello guys, in this video I will show you my field measurements of the last test and this was all about the ground connection. So I measured if there is a difference in the signal to noise ratio uh, if I connect the coax shield uh, to the ground. As you can see I used again my shortened dipole, very low about 2.5 meter uh, over the ground. I used uh, uh, on the antenna feed point a one-to-one -one transformer, what I had last time also. You see how I connected it to the Lab 599TX500. I have a choke at the transceiver and the shield on the choke will be connected to the ground rods. I hammered them into the ground, they are 30 cm long, and the test is about connecting one time the ground rods to the coax shield and one time not. And make this several times and see if there is any effect on the signal, also on the receiving or transmission. Here I'm connecting my Raspberry Pi, this little green box on the left, to the TX500, and on the Raspberry there is a GS8 call running, what I'm controlling with my phone. The SWR was approximately 1.4. And here you can see again the setup with the two rods. Here are the results. Here the results in the Excel sheet. Uh, the receiving values, you see the blue columns, also the left blue column was the receiving uh, values for with the connection to the ground and the right blue column, you see the receiving values for uh, without the connection or with the ground. So th this, they are more or less identical, so 8.78 with 8.89. If you look to the red columns, the left red column, you see the transmission from the field. And these are the values we got back from the home station. And uh, the left column is uh, with the ground connected. And the right column, the right red column, you see the values uh, without the ground connection. There is uh, one little bit more than one dB better a signal to noise ratio without the ground connection. So from this test we see there is no advantage if we connect the ground to the shield. So I did now a uh, lot of uh, field measurements and this was all for the inverted V dipole, NVIS. And now with all these results uh, in the next video will be uh, for me this is exciting at least because I know based just based on measurements which setup I will use. So which setup was the best, which is the best just based on, on the signal to noise ratio numbers. And with this setup I will go for the inverted V dipole. And how this setup will look I will show in the next video. So that's all for today. Uh, thanks again for watching and I hope I will see you in the next video.